Good day, grade fours and mums and dads. Um, so I'm really missing being in the classroom. I'm really missing interacting with my kids. So I've decided to do another lesson. It is a very poor substitute for actually being with you guys, but it, at least it makes me feel a little bit like I'm in the classroom. So this week's English is one task that is going to be spread throughout the whole week with three different parts to it. Um, so it's a project-based one, and obviously it'll end at the end with a presentation that will sum up your project. So like I said, it's going to be done in three parts. Part number one is the research side of it. There's going to be something that you're going to have to go and find out. Um, the research side of it might have to be done in the evenings if moms and dads are working on computers and there's not time during the day. It's not a lot of research. It'll probably take you 20 minutes of that. Um, but still, if moms and dads are working or older brothers and sisters are doing online work, then you're just going to have to wait and find the research or do the research in the evening. Then part two is you are then going to have to think and write and use your brain a bit and do a little task that I set for you. And then task three is the presentation of it. So I'm going to walk you through each step as you need to do it. I suggest maybe watching through to the whole, watching the video through, then you will know the places that you need Need to pause when it comes time to have to um, start doing your work. Okay, so like I said, part one. So we've looked at two famous leaders. We've looked at Nelson Mandela and we've looked at Gandhi. So what happens is when Nelson Mandela and Gandhi, they make these speeches to the world or to the community. And sometimes they say things in these speeches that people think are quite deep and quite important. And then those things are repeated again and again and again. And then they are called quotes. So um, if we look at Nelson Mandela, one of his most famous quotes is, everything seems impossible until it's done. And if we looked at Gandhi, one of his most famous quotes is, be the change you want to see in the world. So I'm going to repeat them again in a second. Then I want you to press pause. And if you're working with a mom and dad, maybe you guys can discuss it. Or if you're working alone, just think about it in your head and process it in your head. I want you to tell me or tell somebody that's in your family or tell the voices in your head what you think those quotes mean. So if I take Gandhi's quote, Gandhi said, um, be the change you want to see in the world. Nelson Mandela said, everything seems impossible until it's done. So press pause for a second, discuss it, think about it, and then we will carry on. Right, so you've had a chance to think about it. So if we go back to Gandhi's, be the change you want to see in the world, what does that mean? Well, that means that if you want something different to happen in the world, you've got to start it. You can't just sit back and say, oh, I don't like this, I don't like this, and you don't do anything about it. So a very simple example is if you're at school and you see this playground is full of litter and you think, oh, the school is so dirty and I wish somebody would pick up the litter and I wish we could clean up our school. You've got to go and pick up the first piece of litter. You've got to set the example. You've got to show the people the change that you want to happen. Then if we look at Nelson, yeah, Nelson Mandela's quote, everything seems impossible until it's done. Again, quite an easy quote to decipher. In other words, everything looks a bit scary until you do it and then you realize, oh, it actually wasn't that scary. So if we take it back to when you were learning how to ride your bicycle, moms and dads might have said to you come let's take off your training wheels let's take off your training wheels and you would have thought that is impossible I will never be able to ride without my training wheels but once they took off your training wheels and you had a bit of practice you were like oh okay this isn't as bad as I thought it was so those are two quotes from the two people that we've done so this is where our project starts I'm going to show you three quotes from three different people okay so my first one is by a person called Greta Thunberg and it says, you are never too small to make a difference. So I'm going to hold it up for a little bit so that you can either write it down or press pause when you need to when you're going through this presentation again. Okay, that's our first one. Our second one is by a lady called Mother Teresa. And she says, it is not about how much you do, but how much love you put into what you do. And I think out of all of them, this is definitely my most favorite quote. So have a look at it, because you are going to have to do something with it later. Write it down if you need to. Press pause if you need to. Take a screenshot if you need to. Okay, and then my last person that I'm looking at is Bill Gates. And Bill Gates says, it is fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lesson of failure. 
Okay, I think there might be a word in there that you've never heard before, so you might have to go and look it up and see if you can figure out what it means. Okay, so those are our three people. So what you are going to do is you are going to research those three people. You're going to research Bill Gates, Greta um, Thunberg, and Mother Teresa. And you are going to write me one sentence, just a short one sentence, about who they are. Not where were they born, when did they die, what did they do, did they have children, did they get married? No. I just want to know what made them famous what made people consider them to be a good leader so for instance if i had to do nelson mandela i would say that he fought for um the black people in south africa to have equal rights if i was doing Mahatma gandhi i would say he believed in non-violence and he was fighting for the rights of indians okay so you are going to do that for those three people so that's the research side of it. You might have to press pause and wait for tonight to do it. Or if you're lucky, you can go and Google it on your phone or your iPad or your computer. Just one short sentence. Okay, so I'm going to press pause for a bit. You can do that and then I will carry on. Right, so the second part of our little mini project that we are doing is you need to retell those quotes or explain those quotes in your own words. So like I showed you earlier on when I was talking about Gandhi and I said, um, be the change you want to see in the world. And then I said afterwards, um, it means that you need to do something if you want to see a change. Okay, so you're going to take those three quotes that I just showed you from Bill Gates um, Mother Teresa and Greta Thunberg, and you are going to write them in your own words. Now, I would suggest that you first do it in rough. You first write it in rough. If moms and dads are busy, that's fine. You can do this part by yourself. When mom and dad are having a coffee break or a tea break, or maybe this evening, then you can just go over it with mom and dad. They can check it. It is not their job to rewrite it. It is not their job to give you the answer. They can be lead you in the right direction and they can say oh maybe this doesn't sound right or read that sentence again or um rethink what they think or do you know what this word means go and look it up so they're there to guide you but you need to do the work okay so once you've done that you've now got your um meanings of your quotes and your little one sentence about who each person is now you are going to go on to the part where you get to decorate so what i did in my book is I just did two pages to show you. Again, these are just my ideas. It does not mean you need to do it like this. If you want to do it over a double page, fantastic. If you've got clear white paper at home, fantastic. So if I look at my first one that I made, I always love a border. I just think it brings everything together and makes everything nice and neat. Okay, and I want you to remember from the poster that we did a week or two ago, all those things. Change your font. Look at your colors. Write neatly. Like I said in that lesson as well, once you've finished, put it against a wall and go and stand on the other side of the room. Can you see it? Is it eye-catching? So for this one, I decided to split my page up in three. I've got my people's names. I've got their background, in other words, their one sentence that they have to write. I've rewritten the quote, and then I've told you the meaning. Okay, and on this side, just another little example is, again, I did my border, I did my heading, and then I decided to do speech bubbles for this one. And if you've got a printer at home, maybe you can print out the picture of each person and you can stick it there. And um, I did find that when I did the speech bubble on one page, I don't think there's going to be enough page. So you might have to do it as a double page. But like I said, these are only examples. It is your time to be creative. Maybe during the week, if you need to research or um, you need to check something with mom and you're waiting for her because she's working, then you can work on your on your um, page. You can start making your page all pretty. Okay, so those are my two ideas of how you can set it out. Okay, guys, I think that's me. Um, I do know that some classes have already had the MS team meetings with their teachers, and I hope you had an awesome time doing that. I know that my class is coming up, I think, this week or next week. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous about the technology side of things, but I am super excited about connecting face-to-face -face with my kids. So, Enjoy, have fun, write neatly, go back, use an eraser, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.